Hello everyone, I'm Mal, and welcome back for more Stellaris in our Let's Play as Bot. We're friendly. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, I was looking in between episodes in some detail about the relationships and who has what. Like as an example, the guys that I wanted to go after right here, you know, they have that defensive pact with the... Uh, Malsimians, and the reality is taking them on too is a possibility. They're currently listed as superior in terms of their fleet power, but naval capacity is equivalent, their technology is superior, but uh, I think I think there's a chance we could could take them on as well. I just have to build up first, So, and we've got to prep. So if we look at kind of where they could travel from, they're going to have to come through here, right? They don't have any means. I mean, I guess technically they could go around if their space is even open to these guys, which I don't know that it is. Yeah, who's this? Tegberg, blah, blah, blah. Well, I know the Kutarians. I'm pretty sure they've closed borders to them. Let's take a look. Well, they've closed borders to their ally. Okay, so technically, the Malsimians could come through here uh, and get to our space. What about Foxtail? Close your borders to anybody? Not to anybody that matters to us, it looks like. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I gotta build up. I mean, we know that much. So I'm thinking if we could get some tech to allow us to build something better than a defense platform, we could militarize this area and then maybe militarize some of this border over here before we go to war. And then I think it'd be OK. I mean, even if the war didn't go our way for whatever reason, as long as we don't lose any systems, it doesn't really matter. Not too much. And what we could do is just like a really low war goal, like we could just like take like a system, just get like a kind of expand our foothold a little bit. We'll see, but that's kind of the general plan. Okay, now I have also identified a couple planets as research based. So like this planet is research based. Now this planet is research based. So that's all that's going to go here is research related things. So let's just double check that that's how this is set up right now. For the most part, it is I hate using these spaces near the planetary processor because obviously you get bonuses and you don't to science, but I may switch that out too. We'll see. Now I'm building a colony ship and I don't recall that I have an open. Hmm. Expansion planner. Okay, where are you at? Oh yeah, right here. We can grab this since we've got spots open up. Okay. And... Plus 20% engineering output. Really? Okay, so you can definitely be a research planet. Perfect. And you'll see me re you'll see me periodically rename things like if it's military military primarily and you know you build a certain class of ship there I'll, like primus one might eventually say primus one battleship or something like that so that i know just quick reference what i primarily build there just a little tip something that helps me it might help you all right let's go ahead we'll go normal speed for just a second as i'm looking at things we've got upgrades to do on some of these worlds yeah go ahead and do that Drop some more population growth going on there. Okay, that looks good. Upgrade, upgrade. Cosmetics. 
construction complete. Let's talk to one of the uh, trading guys. Yeah, come here. Like to trade for minerals. Go ahead and upgrade that. Okay, you move over here. And that's fine. You're going to be next, huh? Okay, why don't you drop in right there, build a power plant, grab some more pop, there we go. Who's not working? You're not working? the spare parts thing there yeah okay until we get something that requires the alien pets construction complete it's good and you guys need these tiles cleared all right so let's do that and we'll come back where's that colony ship Drop you right there. Okay, and I think that's it, right? For the planet colonization. I mean, we've got one open here. But I think that's it in terms of what we have available. That's convenient to us. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth it. Is this worth it? To put a frontier outpost out there? Doesn't look like it, honestly. Okay, let's speed things back up. They're fighting. Stop fighting. Who's fighting? Oh, they are. Okay, good. Good. Yes, please do keep fighting. I'm all about that. Okay, and how is our fleet? Uh, we're not quite at cap, so we need to work on that too. All right, let's build some more vents. Couple more destroyers. Should go ahead and upgrade. I need um, observatories. That's what I need, actually, for my research worlds. That would help a lot. Go ahead and go to three. You can go to three. Yep, likewise. Grab synchronized defenses. Okay, and then over here, this place is kind of a work in progress. What do we got going on? Synchronized defenses, right? And then you're going to need to be as big a spaceport as we can give you. So you're going to kind of be the war front. Matter of fact, let me label it that way for now. Forward operating base. There you go. Okay, let's go all the way up to fastest. We're fine now. Anything we need the construction ships doing? It doesn't look like it. Oh, well, oh, no, I stand corrected. Yeah, this. And you can do this as well. Okay. 
thing over here is already taken care of. All right. And what's our research doing? Physics Lab 2, System Conflux. We're going to get access to Cruiser. Okay. So I think what we'll do is after we get Cruisers, we'll build a few to be, you know, tanks or whatever for the fleet. And then we'll do the upgrade and then we'll see where we're at. So we'll build some Cruisers. We'll get to Cap. And then we'll see how we stack up against the enemy. And potentially go to war while he's still at war. Because that's obviously helpful, right? Hmm. Looks like they're... Not having a good time over there. They only have one system, too. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he's going to gobble him right up. It's not even going to be a contest. Yeah, I don't think so. What do you have? Oh, missiles. Is that right? Missiles and what? Mixed shields? What your cruisers have? Okay, so we want we want to make sure that the destroyers got point defense, which I think they already do, but we just need to double check that. Okay, go ahead and upgrade this. Upgrade all the things. And what are you going to do on this planet? We don't really need energy right now. I guess we'll do minerals then. Yeah, okay. Mining network it is. And then we can do mineral processing right here. Another mining network. Let's trade this one out. Replace, make it a mining network. We can switch this one all to minerals and then we can classify another one for energy or something. Construction complete. Like this place could be energy. Yeah, let's do that. We'll re-specialize. Go ahead, upgrade, upgrade. How we looking, how we looking? Let's see. A blink node and you move over there. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Construction complete. Get a planetary administration first, right? Okay. Well, then we'll just leave it the way it is for now. build a node. You can move over here. Let's get some pop going. Okay. Thank you. Alright, who closed borders? Oh, open borders with us. Uh, okay. Let's clear all this stuff out. Okay, upgrade, upgrade. 16 energy off this one tile. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So we've got space coal, plus an adjacency to the administrative array, plus an energy grid. Yeah, that's that's pretty sexy. Yeah, you gotta like that. Your spaceport's fine.
Defensive pack, huh? Okay. I don't like seeing a lot of defensive packs because then it limits my ability to take things on, right? So I'm not wild about that. Wish they'd settle down on the defensive packs. Also guaranteeing independence too is a kind of a pain in the butt. Like I have, t I have like two guaranteeing mine, which is kind of funny, but... I didn't ask them to do that. No, I did not. Basic power plant will be fine. Okay, so we're doing energy around the core, but then what? I guess we can do... Yeah, we can do some science here, that's fine. Construction complete. Construction complete. One done colonizing yet? No, almost. Research complete. Speaking of research... System conflicts, nice. Okay, so now what do we have? Terraforming, which to find the resources is still usable for us. Animal evaluation lab though. Let's grab this, because we do. we actually can take advantage of it. Of course we can only take advantage of it on one colony. Is that worth it? Um... Hmm. You know, right? Actually, right now, it's not. I'd rather get some more naval capacity. Yep. And how long until we get cruiser tech? Oh, very close. Okay, good. Alright, let's go ahead and just clear everything. Research complete. Okay. Research complete. Excellent. Plasma thrusters or engineering two. Mm, it's kind of a toughie. I guess plasma thruster because we're going to be going to war, so we can hold off on the other. All right, you come down here. I guess we need a spare parts depot first, so let's do that. Get your spaceport going. I mean, we're cranking right along. I'm feeling I'm feeling optimistic about our chances here in this game. I mean, yeah, we're way behind in terms of, like, the lead right now, but they're all friendly to us, so we've got time to catch up. And our unity production is quite good. We've been all over that, so... That's gonna pay dividends as we continue. Most certainly will. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, we're clearing all this. Can't build the space coal yet. Nope, still can't. Let's see.
Yeah, I guess just more power plants. I hate to give up that three, but... Yeah, just have it dedicated. Okay, research, naval capacity is done. Wow, that was quick. Service umbilicables and repair or engineering bay. I like the repair piece of that. It might not be a bad idea, particularly at that forward op, to have that. Yeah, let's grab this. That's helpful. Okay, and then a new tradition. Survey speed by 35%. Yeah, that doesn't really matter at this point, but... I mean, I guess we could send the other... We could send the other science ship out in the interim. Until we've got, you know, one of these other research planets built up. The question is, where... Um, could we go over to the Gekian Thought Exchange and scan? I guess we can. They're friendly, so... Just to gain XP, right? We might as well. I should get mapped the stars so this thing will do it automatically. There, off you go. All these non-aggression packs and stuff? It's like, come on. At some point we gotta beat people up. As I am doing my friendly Let's Play. <laughs> well, at some point I want to smash some stuff up. I mean, come on. Okay, let's see. Attachment, attachment. Earthquake, huh? Okay, fine. It's a simple thing to forget to do this, too. To not do your attachments. Research complete. Hope this is something else they change at some point. A lot of... manual clicky-click for nothing type deal. Okay, now we got one fleet. Let's get ourselves a general. Morale on defense, army damage on defense. I guess we'll just get a cheaper one. Eh, fine. Alright, pause. Do we want automatic exploration right now or improved assist research? I think we want this. I know I just talked about getting the other one, but we, we went ahead and queued up a bunch of stuff for it to do, so... It's fine. I don't need the convenience at the moment. Okay, check the planets again. Sit on a bunch of minerals, which we'll take care of that in a second. Construction complete. Level five. All right, let's build some more ships. We don't have our cruisers yet. Oh, right, we got to upgrade. Research complete.
planet's kind of kind of not so great, but we'll be able to get some research out of it. Okay, service is done. Let's grab. You know what? Let's just keep grabbing naval capacity upgrades. I, I honestly think that's one of the best things we can do right now. Construction complete. Okay, and what are we behind on? Physics. I need to focus on getting more physics labs. Okay. Okay, up you go. Construction complete. Okay, let's give you engine bay or engineering bay and go ahead and give you the service on biblicals because why not? Research complete. Might as well. It's a Ford operating base. There'll be a fleet sitting there. Okay, new research. Nano composite armor or do we go for mineral silo three and mineral processing plant two? Hmm. I think we go for nano composite armor actually. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it, so also jump on it. Mining network, and we need to replace this one with a mining network. And you as well. No longer see a reason to keep you locked out from our territory. Oh, okay. Well, how kind of you. Too many defensive alliances. Stop that nonsense. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Let's build some cruisers, shall we? What are you offering? Non-aggression. Where are you at? Um. Yeah, I, I that's that's fine. That's fine. We can do that. What are we going to do with you? Guess we could do... We could give up a bonus here and we could just do science. It's fine. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make you science as well. We, we really badly need to catch up tech-wise. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just pre-build everything. And I'm going to go ahead, I think, and end this one here and ha keep the faith, people. We're going to go to war at some point. I'm sure people want to see me do that, and we will. But I have learned my lesson in Stellaris. Don't go to war until you're absolutely prepared. So when we come back in the next one, we will upgrade our ship designs, make sure that we're maxed out on fleet capacity, and then we'll reassess whether or not we can go to war with the Malsimians. I think we'll be able to. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal. I'll see you later.